Some of the planet's most toxic pollutants are traveling the globe, largely unseen, and a small concentration of these chemicals can be found in all of us. In the 1930s, the process of electrifying the world used polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs, for insulation. Decades later, the persistent bioaccumulative and toxic properties of these chemicals were discovered, but not before millions of tons were installed in electrical equipment all over the planet. Despite the cessation of PCB production in the 1970s, these chemicals remain in the insulating oil of existing transformers. This is exasperated by the lack of affordable, practical and resource-efficient PCB disposal options. The environmental threat that this poses has long been recognized as a global issue, requiring a global solution. In 2001, countries signed the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants and committed themselves to reduce and eliminate PCBs along with other toxic substances. But phasing out such chemicals is not always easy. In an effort to assist developing countries and economies in transition to face these challenges and implement the Stockholm Convention, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization developed a remarkable program that helps eliminate POPs such as PCBs. We have developed a Green Industry Initiative which helps global industry reduce its environmental footprint while remaining productive and competitive. The reduction and the elimination of toxic substances forms a major component of the Green Industry Initiative and the UNIDA's work to support the implementation of the Stockholm Convention on the Persistent Organic Pollutants. UNIDA POPs program exemplifies how UNIDA enables member states to obtain viable and resource-efficient disposable options for pollutants of a global concern. With the support of Jeff, UNIDO helps countries tackle POPs with the development of the national implementation plans, formulate the environmentally sound management methodologies and technology transfer approaches. To date, over 100 projects are being or have been implemented globally under this program. Macedonia is one of the countries being assisted by UNIDO. Here, the project helps reduce the release of PCBs into the local environment by strengthening national capacities to effectively manage the disposal of PCB-containing equipment and wastes. The project assists the Republic of Macedonia in fulfilling the PCB-related obligations under the Stockholm Convention through uh, establishment of sound PCB management system uh, covering the entire life cycle of these chemicals, including inventory, usage, storage, handling, disposal and transportation. Uh, the project activities were formulated uh, in a way to address the identified uh, administrative, regulatory and technical uh, barriers through establishment of environmentally sound PCB management system, which includes uh, strengthening of the uh, regulatory policy frameworks, strengthening of the administrative uh, institutional capacity, strengthening of the technical capacities for sound PCB management, and increasing the awareness and knowledge among the st key stakeholders and the general public. One of the facilities assisted under this project is Rade Concha Service. The company produces, remounts and provides maintenance for motors, generators and transformers. The treatment of transformers at the facility is performed in a stationary installation using the dechlorination process, a technology which allows local industries to dispose of PCBs in a cost-effective and environmentally sound manner. Сите трансформатори од регионот доаѓаат кај нас. Со самото тоа доаѓање овде како еден една еден клинички центар за трансформаторите, сите тие трансформатори кои доаѓаат не содржат на ПХБ, туку поедини трансформатори за кои ние овде ка со анализа утврдуваме утврдуваме која и кој трансформатор треба да се третира од ПХБ, односно да се отклони ПХБто. Значи бидејќи сме запознати со начинот на а, самата деконтаминација со целиот процес во Раде Кончар Сервис, значи задоволни сме со технологијата која што е поставена таму и со резултатите кои што подосна се добија, бидејќи значи како резултати добивме анализи со кои што потврдија дека самата деконтаминација е успешно а, завршена. ПХБ не го има само Република Македонија, тоа е општ проблем на во Балканскиот регион. Иако ние како како земја први воспоставивме третман на ПХБ, 
Тоа значи дека а, на некој начин сме пример и за другите земји во околината, кои што а, исто така ПХБ и проблемот со ПХБ го ставаат на приоритетно место. The results of the project speak for themselves. Macedonia now has an improved policy framework to better handle the disposal of PCBs. The project helped develop a detailed PCB inventory and strengthen local enforcement structures. The knowledge and working practices of staff at the transformer maintenance shop has been enhanced. A temporary PCB storage facility has been established to guarantee the safe handling of PCBs prior to treatment or disposal. Another result worth mentioning is the increase of awareness among different target groups through awareness raising workshops and information materials. Within the scope of the project, 167 tons of PCB containing transformers have been treated. Помошта од страна на Унидов, впрочем, и не е само во овој проект, беше одлична, во споставивме добри партнерски односи со нив, добра техничка асистенција имавме и ние имаме само пофални зборови за Унидов. In Mongolia, the project being implemented follows a similar strategy. UNIDO support focuses on enhancing local capacities to manage PCB-containing equipment in a cost-effective and environmentally sound manner. The um, management of toxic and hazardous waste in Mongolia is still a very new thing, and we have been working very hard on improving the legal framework. Also next year we will be, uh, in, it's in the national and government action plan to put a new toxic and hazardous waste management plan, but also toxic and hazardous waste site for processing. So we are uh, facing big challenges, but we are also have a big political will to achieve those results. First objective is uh, to establish the national regulation on PCBs, and second objective is uh, to establish the, this uh, uh, technical capacity on laboratories and the uh, third objective is uh, to train, uh, to improve the awareness rising of the stakeholders at all, at all levels, and uh, finally to introduce the non-combustion non technology. Mongolia is a country with large territory where the electricity system is distributed vastly. To reach remote towns, one may travel far in extreme weather conditions. Local PCB owners are not always economically capable to treat their contaminated equipment or to send it to decontamination facilities for a prolonged period of time. Taking these specific conditions into consideration, the PCB decontamination technology acquired in Mongolia is a mobile plant for the process of decontaminating electrical equipment. It is transported to the field during the warm season to treat large-sized equipment on site. During the cold season, the plant is operated in the stationary facility established in Ulaanbaatar. Operating in a low temperature and closed system, it is a safe and controlled process, free from the dangers of fire and the release of toxic chemicals during operation that bring minimal impact on the environmental and workers' health. It increments the life cycle length of the electrical equipment, enhances the company's resource efficiency, and after all, ensures a high level of eco-balance and cost-benefit ratio for the PCB owners. Uh, the electrical companies are, ex uh, are accepting uh, mm, the PCB, this PCB project positively. And of course, the main thing they um, understood is uh, they are making uh, not a little contribution for uh, protecting the environment. The train team at the national host company, National Power Transmission Grid, has so far decontaminated over 200 tons of PCB containing equipment. Out of the approximately 2,300 tons of PCB containing equipment that UNIDO estimates currently exist in Mongolia, this plant seeks to treat over 1,000 tons in the next one and a half years. Our obligation is by 2020 to get rid of PCBs in an environmentally sound manner. And I think with the UNIDA project we will be able to achieve this obligation and this objective. In the Philippines, UNIDA's assistance follows the same recipe. Here, the project aims to facilitate the adoption and successful implementation of non-combustion technologies for destroying POPs. The project helps build strategic partnerships with stakeholders across all involved sectors, including energy enterprises, NGOs, local governments and communities to ensure strong project ownership at the national and local levels, as well as the continuity of the PCB waste management and their safe storage efforts beyond the project's life. This is a learning process 
for us um, you know from time to time um, we have to uh, convince the 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 our partners that indeed this will be of help to us and so UNIDO is there not just providing the resources for us to be able to do this but also to guide us technically and also learn the lessons no, in the process. Uh, the project was initially discussed with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and from that time on from 2001 until the project approval that was it took seven years or more. So uh, at that time, um, the industry, we didn't have anything about PCB. But we started to have meetings with the owners of PCB at the time. Then when the approval of the project came, we, in we informed them that we have this project that uh, wherein we will put up a destruction facility for PCBs in the country. The project has established a non-combustion PCB treatment facility in Bataan, designed to treat 1,500 tons of PCB-contaminated oil and equipment. The National Implementation Plan of the Philippines identified about 6,000 tons of PCB waste. With the project, a partnership among the government, private companies, and the civil society has been established. IPM Construction and Development Corporation was contracted by UNIDO to design, install, and commission the equipment. The government acts as the executing agency, while the PNOC Alternative Fuels Corporation acts as the operating entity. The motive of the Philipp Philippine National Oil Company Alternative Fuels Corporation in participating in this project is uh, in support of the Philippine government's uh, commitment to the SACOM Convention POPs. You need uh, DNR, the NGOs, I think uh, we have all the ingredients of, of, of having a good and successful project. You need, I would say, really exerted a lot of effort and they did their best to see that this project pushed through and this project uh, will be successfully done. The NGO partners were mobilized to undertake awareness, information and education campaigns, an important component of the project which helped reach out to the local community within the vicinity of the facility. Equis Coalition handles the IEC component of the projects. It, uh, in, um, it seeks to deepen this capacity building and the dissemination of information in, the, in all the stakeholders and the grassroots community. One of the major achievements of, um, of our NGO is the establishment in the, of the Bantay PCB or the PCB Watch that reinforce the monitoring and uh, prevention of uh, illegal PCB waste into the community. Uh, sa tingin ko, sa hinaharap, tingin ko kung mapanatili ng planta o ng proyekto ang mga batas na kanilang uh, inano, ay tingin ko gaganda ang, ang panghuli namin ng isda dito, mapaunla din ang aming mga pamilya dahil sa wala ng laso na itatapon sa karagatan. Kung maging sa hangin o saan man na nagdudulot sa amin ng uh, masama sa kalusugan, ganyan din sa uh, mga huli naming isda na muunti na dahil sa mga pinatapon ng ibang planta. Although the project is just getting off the ground, the initial results are promising. As of August 2013, the treatment facility in Bataan treated a total of 37 tons of PCB oil. We're very positive about, about the whole project in, for the country, not only in terms of meeting the deadlines, but in terms of using it and coming up with something in terms of technology and the partnership project in addressing our problems internally. So uh, this very much goes with what we are doing now in terms of green technology, sustainable development uh, principles on how to do waste management in the Philippines. Macedonia, Mongolia and the Philippines are only a handful of examples. UNIDO, as one of the main implementing agencies, will continuously develop projects as part of its global program in reducing and eliminating POPs. This reflects the commitment of UNIDO through the support of Jeff to derive high on its agenda, the implementation of the Stockholm Convention and supporting green industry for sustainable industrial development and opening new avenues for the transfer of clean technologies.